Hello and thank you for your interest in learning more about dashboards and scorecards. This presentation will focus on the information of concern for the claims department of a property and casualty insurance company. The difference between dashboards and scorecards is that a dashboard will allow you to display information in a report format where perhaps you're showing information using a bar graph for the past year. Scorecards, however, will display information in comparison to a company's goals using gauges and signal lights so you can be aligned with the goals of the entire organization. Dashboards and scorecards have the advantage of relaying report data in a visual format to help the user to view data much more quickly and allow them to drill down and make better business decisions based on the immediate data, not only trending. Performance management objectives provide claim executives with up-to-date real-time information aggregated from all of the systems in the department. Dashboards and scorecards provide regional managers with important information to organize the structure of their area to better support underperforming areas. Dashboards and scorecards provide all levels of the hierarchy a comparative view in alignment with corporate goals. The distribution of information in electronic dashboards can be done in synchronization with corporate hierarchies so that individuals have access to the information that is pertinent to their interest and under their control as well as allow them to compare with other similar levels. If you're in the IT department, how often have you heard this request? Create an ad hoc report that includes new KPIs or measurements that you've never reported on before. Many newer technologies now allow business users to create many of these reports on their own and present this information in a much more meaningful way where they can compare the information with other departments, regions, or divisions. In our demonstration, we are using the Microsoft Performance Point Server technology because it has a very low user license cost and works with SharePoint, which many organizations already own. The SharePoint system also includes built-in security technology that takes care of the corporate hierarchy for data access. As you can see here, we start off displaying data for all regions and branches. This display is broken out into six distinct views providing information on open claims, expense ratios, claim summary, claims stratified by values, by claims office, and by expense type. The views immediately project many different types of information to the user including some information by hovering over the displays. PPS also allows the user to change the format of the views and display information in different ways, as well as filter and drill down. It also interfaces to the other Microsoft Office products, such as Excel and PowerPoint. The default display here covers claims from all regions and branches. If I move over here and examine the view by claim office, I can immediately see how the total incurred value for each office compares. That tells us we should examine the Connecticut region and view the data for those offices. By changing the office filter, we see how the data display changes and all the views change to show only the data for that region and offices within that region. With the lights and flags denoting a scorecard, we can see the specific areas we need to focus on. In this case, if we review the expense type view, we can see that the medical expense category has increased dramatically. Depending upon how you set up your views, by expanding the category, we can see the subcategory for each expense type and see the performance of each subcategory. If we go down one more layer, we can in fact see the list of claims that have the same expense type. By linking PPS dashboard data to the claims administration system, the user can click on the claim file number as a hyperlink to open the claim administration system file. Some additional features of the dashboard views include changing the report within an individual view to bar charts, grids, or line charts. You also may have noticed that we can display additional reports on tabs beneath the dashboard. These can also have multiple views on screens, as in the case with the claims by vehicle type report.
or, as in the case of the claims by vehicle make, only one graph. But as with all other reports, it can be filtered by a specific expense type or other parameters that you may wish to add here. With so many vendors in the marketplace touting their applications and conveniences, it can be difficult to make an intelligent decision choosing which vendor product will meet your needs. Business Intelligent Solution should follow the traditional iterative implementation model of first documenting requirements, creating screen mockups, and full test plans, including comprehensive testing of formulas and security, where each system is rolled out incrementally and built upon those installations in preparation for the next. Our recommended next steps should include conducting an on-site workshop with the client, identifying and confirming KPIs with management and users, identifying unique views, identifying viewer hierarchies, and implementation. For more information about Edgewater Technology and our insurance practice, please contact Practice Director Stacy Cheese. Thank you.